What's up homies, it's your boy MSage and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install my new follower pet system as well as how to properly install my follower pets. Now this tutorial is for my 5.2 plus system which comes with a very very convenient tool that will allow you to easily install my entire pet system in just a few clicks. The very first thing you're going to make sure you have though on your avatar is you need to make sure you have an FX layer on your avatar. It can be a blank layer, it could be a full layer with a bunch of toggles on it. Just make sure you have an FX layer on your avatar. Also, make sure you have an action layer on your avatar. It could be blank, it could be Go Go Look Emotions action layer, just make sure you have it on your avatar. And lastly, make sure you have a parameters list. This is very important, because if you don't have that, then the pet system won't work properly. Once you have those three things put onto your avatar, which is very simple to do, you can go ahead and open up the Follower Pets installer tool, which can be found on the tab on the top that says MSage. Click on Follower Pets and then click on Follower Pet installer tool. A window will open and in this first slot, you'll see you can put your avatar there. So just click and drag your avatar from the hierarchy and put it in the first slot. Secondly, we're going to be installing the Rideable Dragon of Terror, so we'll want the animations for that specific pet. We can go ahead and navigate to the folder where our follower pet is located, and you'll see an animation controller that says pet animations dot rideable dragon dot fx. Click and drag that into the window, and you're ready to install your follower pet and the system. Go ahead and click on install pet system, and it will automatically merge your action layer your fx layer and you'll have the system pretty much fully installed now you're going to want to install the pet animations go ahead and click on that button and now your animations are installed you can check you'll see a little notification down here at the bottom that says fx layer merge successfully lastly you need to make sure you have right defaults enabled for everything in your fx layer and an easy way to do that is just to click on this enable right defaults button if you click on that, it will enable the right defaults for everything in your FX layer. Now you have your animations installed, you have the pet system installed, and you're pretty much done with that. But we need the actual pet on our avatar now. You go to the prefabs folder of the follower pet that you have, go into the default one folder, or if you have a custom skin, you'll go into the other folder instead. And you want to click and drag that pet into your hierarchy first. Then you click and drag the pet to your avatar. Make sure the follower pet is in the 000 position of your avatar. Then you want to open up pet settings within the follower pet that's in your hierarchy. And if you want to change the location, you can only change the location of your pet by clicking on pet location. Do not change that any other way, otherwise you will break the pet system. You can change the pet scale by using the pet scale node here. And that's the only way you can change the scale of the pet. Otherwise you will break it. For rideable pets, you want the back of the pet to kind of line up with your avatar's hips by scaling it. That way the avatar is properly sitting on the pet. For pet station point, this is very important for you to pay attention to the product page of when you buy a pet. Some pets are rideable, some pets are not, some pets will sit on your head, some pets you can sit on their head. But for this specific pet, this is a rideable pet, so you're going to set the pet station point to the hip bone of your avatar. Let's say you're using the gothic kitten, for example, that pet is meant to sit on your head, so instead of using the hip bone, you're going to use the head bone of your avatar in this place. And lastly, for pet remote camera point, you want to navigate to your avatar's head bone and put that in the parent constraint place. It will always be the head bone for the pet remote camera point. That way you're able to control your pet and see from the pet's point of view when you control it. Now that is it. That is pretty much everything aside for one step that I almost forgot. You need to actually put the menu on your avatar so you're going to open up your menu that's on your avatar so you can actually use the toggles of the pet and then you're going to create a new sub menu you're going to click on the little plus button here change the type to sub menu name it pet menu 
which I already have up here. And you want the sub menu to be the pet menu by typing pet menu, you can search it. And just like that, you have your full pet installed and you can control it as you please. You can also change the icon of the sub menu by pressing that. And the system also comes with icons if you'd like to use. So it looks pretty when you select your pet. But that's everything. There's nothing else you need to do besides upload your avatar and you will have a fully working follower pet. If you have any questions, feel free to join my Discord and ask me. I'm open to helping people with all kinds of questions and such. And that'll be all. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to become part of the Dank Homie family, go ahead and do so. And I will see you guys later. Peace and much love.